What's going on, everybody? Z here. Welcome back to some more Planet Crafter. So today we are continuing the Mega Base, and hopefully, we're gonna finish the main structure of the Mega Base, uh, getting everything, uh, like the main base components built, and then hopefully, kind of getting some things in place. You know, we probably won't necessarily finish, you know, getting everything tidied up, but we'll probably get the main structure of the base built, and uh, hopefully, figure out something that we're happy with. So uh, yeah, hopefully, you guys enjoy. If you do like, subscribe, all the fun things. So between the episodes, I went ahead and I started moving my storage out of here because we're gonna have to delete this room. So I basically just threw it in here. It's a disaster. I'm not going through storage right now because that's going to be a future thing. So I want to go ahead. I want to delete this room, this room. I want to get this hallway done. Basically, I want to get this main hallway done. And I want to get on uh, the, the main like wings of the rooms, if you will. So let's go ahead and let's take that guy out. Let's take that guy out. And then let's see. We should be able to go ahead and build... Okay, so that's connected. All right, so that's all connected. This whole main hallway right here is good. This stuff is always is is gonna get you know deconstructed, but it's gonna allow us to figure out like what's going on. So we've got that. Now I want to see. Do I have stuff for one of these? I don't. I'm missing some iron. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and get rid of that. That. I want to see where we can get this wing put up. You know, this this other big living compartment. Oh, we're probably going to have to delete all those. Uh, you know what? Actually, if I get rid of these, we might be able to figure this out. Uh, let's see. Let's grab this. Deconstruct. Okay. So now if I got a... Oh, hold on. Let's get rid of this ladder just in case it'll go along here. I don't know that it's going to work here because of this hill. So let's grab this guy. Ah, uh, it's in the way of the reactors. Okay. Or the heaters. My bad. Let's go ahead and get that out. Um, I need all that stuff. <laughs> I need to make sure nothing despawns. All right. Let's grab all these up. You know what? I'm actually going to go ahead. I'm just going to. Oh, why can't I get that? Why can't I get that super alloy? Uh... Can I have you now? Okay, cool. I'm actually going to go ahead and deconstruct these just to get them out of the way. How's that look? Okay, that looks pretty good. And uh, we're going to be putting stuff up anyways, so I'm not really super worried about it. Okay, so all this stuff is out of the way. Uh, You know what? Let's go ahead and get rid of that grass spreader. Let's go throw some stuff into storage. <laughs> this is going to be so fun. Oh, we're going to have to rebuild all of the things. But that's okay, because we can rebuild it to where we want it and where we like it. Okay, perfect. So that looks good. And also, before we get going any further, I hope you all have a wonderful day. And uh, if you do enjoy the video, maybe consider leaving a like, subscribe if you haven't already. But before we go any further, we have to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of this video, Factor. So what exactly is Factor? Factor delivers fresh and never frozen meals directly to your doorstep. No more meal prep, no more dishes, no more unhealthy fast food. It's the most convenient way to eat well while eating right. Factor's menus are updated weekly and include 27 meals and 34 plus add-on options. Choose your favorite meals or let Factor craft your order based on your taste preferences and meal history. All right, so picture this. You are hours into your gaming session. The worst thing ever happens. You get hungry. What do you do? Do you grab the snacks? Do you grab the soda? Do you grab the chips? No. You grab yourself a prepared smoothie or keto shake for a quick snack, or you can heat and eat a chef quality meal in just two minutes with no prep or no cleanup necessary. You can stay focused on getting that legendary gear, building that base. I know Factor has come in clutch for me during those busy nights of recording. Factor meals arrived pre prep and are ready to eat in two minutes or less. And with meal preferences like keto, calorie smart, vegan, vegetarian, and more than 27 plus meal options per week, there's something for everyone. Meal plans range from four to 18 meals per week, and you can add more or reduce the number depending on your specific needs. And you can easily modify food preferences and skip a week if needed. So avoid the fast food and ordering in. Grab yourself a delicious dietitian approved prepared meal from Factor. So use my link down below or go to go.factor75.com and use code POGZ1120 to get $120 off. Thank you again, Factor, for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to it. Awesome. Okay, so now let's see if we can get some basis stuff in here. Uh, let's see. Okay, so that doesn't want to go here. Is it because of the plants? What is it that's causing this to not want to go here? It could be the flowers. Uh, oh, it's a super alloy event. 
That's phenomenal. Oh, you know what? It's those. Okay, hold on. Let's get. We're gonna hide inside because these things, these things will destroy your face. Um, I probably should go out and collect the super alloy, but I'm not going to <laughs> because I'm lazy right now, and uh, we'll grab it another time. All right, I lied. I'm gonna grab it now. I need it. We're gonna need it. We're doing some mega base building stuff. I'm gonna need all the super alloy I can get. All right, the storm has stopped. Now we have a chance to actually grab this stuff. It's always so hard to grab it during the storm. All right, we got a decent amount. We're good. Let's continue our base building efforts. <laughs> so I felt like it was hitting right there, but I don't think it is. I think it's the hill. Yeah, I don't think we can. I don't think we're gonna be able to go over any further. Now let's make sure. Can we do another one right here? Okay, good. See, that's what I was worried about. I was worried about this hill right here. All right, so that will work. That's as far over as we can go, which is fine because then we'll go ahead and we'll put these platforms. Um, we'll fill this side right here with platforms and we'll kind of step it up, you know, and have different whatever we need that we need to on there. Kind of like how we already have it, but you know, this whole side. So that will work like that. Now, how many? I guess how many rooms we have here? Okay, so we have seven rooms. And we're going to do, oh my gosh, of course it's seven because seven has a, uh, an odd. Oh, actually no, because this is going to be a double wing. So we're only going to have, because if we do two here, it's only going to give us five. And then again, that's going to be, oh, okay. Hmm. Let's wait till daytime so we can see what's going on. So I was going to have. I want a space in between these. So I was going to have one, two here, and then one, two here. But then that's going to put these two right next to that room. Oh, no. I need to slide these over by one. <laughs> and I just put all of my stupid storages in there. Oh, and I can't get rid of them until... Oh. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. Um, this <laughs> this room's going to have to stay attached until we get new storage put in it, but these rooms can swap over. I unfortunately can't deconstruct the glass. I've never been able to get this glass to deconstruct, so in order to make this work how I want it to, we're going to have to move. We're going to have to slide those rooms over by one. I think let me let me make sure I'm, I'm calculating this correctly here yeah yep we're gonna have to have a space by one okay so let's just go ahead and let's scoot these on over okay so those are all moved over by one and then we can go ahead and we can actually move the rest of these rooms over by one you know it's funny as I built that in there because I was like oh this room's not gonna move I'm not gonna have to worry about this room moving because it's gonna be staying put so I can put my storage in there and not have to worry about anything <laughs> Oh, of course. Oh, you know what's also great is I can't actually even get into that room right now because of this stupid glass. And I can't get rid of it. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is my life. This is my life. Um, I need to get into that room too because there's like all my storage is in there. Um, I need to deconstruct something. You know what? Uh, you can go. And then this can go, this room can go. And we'll just stuff this room. Okay, so let's see. This is going to be uh, a hall. This is gonna be empty. So then let's just go ahead and let's move this right there so I can at least get in here. Okay, cool. Jeez. Now I need water. Let's go grab some water. Now we should be able to go ahead and get all the other rooms built. I'm gonna have to go through and deconstruct all this stuff and get this stuff cleared out as well. But that is just fine with me. Okay, so now our next large room is going to be right in here. Like that. And then this is going to be like our main like working area. Uh, these four rooms right here, these are going to be our main working area. So then the door can go on either of these. 
You know, I'm actually running out of iron here. We're gonna have to go, uh... We're gonna start harvesting our resources. Oh, we got, we got a little bit of iron left. Might be okay. Okay, so now those are in. So that's our main two buildings right here. Uh, we could we could build off this way if we wanted to. This will start looking better, I promise. <laughs> I promise it'll start looking better eventually. Uh, and then, you know what? Let's go ahead and let's just move this guy. Inventory full cannot deconstruct. Oh my gosh, of course not. Yeah, so this area right here, this is going to be our main workshop. And then we're going to throw storage around these walls here. And that should give us plenty of storage. All right. So there's, that's like the center ish of the base. Now I do want to actually throw doors uh, at multiple places on the base. So that way we can get in and out of the base, like, you know, from other areas. So we'll probably end up throwing a door over here, uh, like on each side and stuff like that to help get around. So that looks good. Now we basically just need to deconstruct, reconstruct. Uh, and just, we just need to get this frame done here. So these rooms are going to go. Oh my gosh. All of this stuff is going to have to go. Okay. So I got my, I got my other room cleared out. The, what was it? The, the biology room. The, what, what room is that? The bio lab. I got the bio lab cleared out. Now the bio lab is a two by two by itself. So we're going to have to have that incorporated somewhere. And I think that's probably going to be. So we're gonna have room here, here. I think it's gonna be actually right here, which is kind of funny. It's it it really only moved over, like one. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, it's gonna go right here. I think. Let's see if we can't go ahead and get that in here, because I do have the stuff to build that, and that is a two by two room. So I want it right. Um, you know what? It might not. Okay, I want it right there, but how do I want the screen? Where's the screen at? Okay, so the screen is facing me. It's hard to tell where the screen is. Okay, the screen is facing away from me, I believe. So I think that should go right there okay so that looks good so we've got that okay then we have a space then we have a two by two and then we have a space then we have two by okay all right so there we go that's looking good and then the other two by two is going to go across here and then we're going to go ahead and go into here okay all right we're waking we're making progress here oh we're making progress so we can go ahead and throw another big living compartment on the back side of that. And then we can throw one right here. Do I have enough stuff for that? Of course not. Throw one right here and here. And then that should work. Oh my gosh. It's another super alley event. What the heck? I'm not going out and getting it. <laughs> I think we're good. We got a lot. Oh my gosh. A meteor got inside. Oh no, whatever will we do? Okay, now that that's done, I know there's super alley laying everywhere. It's fine. Oh my gosh, this base looks like such a disaster right now. So this should go right into there. And then the last thing that we need to do is clear this out and these out and get two more rooms in here and the main structure should be done. Okay, I think we did it. I think the main structure is done. So we got two by two in here, two by two here with the bio lab, two by two here. That all looks wonderful. And then we have this front area right here, which we could always put rooms here. We could always put rooms there and then um, utilize that space. I'm just kind of worried. Like, I don't know if this is considered mega ba mega base yet or not, you know? And it's still all, it doesn't look good yet because we, we got to get all the little stuff cleaned up and reorganized. Let me go ahead and let me pull these biodomes off here. Let's see, does this have any storage of any type? No. Okay, so this can be deconstructed. Uh, and then can I put a door right on here? 
You know, I didn't realize you could just put doors directly on these biodomes. That's actually kind of cool. Hmm. Interesting. Actually, that is actually really neat. Put that there, and then let's go throw this stuff into storage, and we'll go ahead and grab the rest of the stuff, move everything else. Okay. Everything's deleted that needed to be deleted, I think. <laughs> I don't know. Is this considered mega base yet? Hmm. Or does it need to be bigger? I'm thinking a ring of small rooms around the outside. Well, that's gonna make this that's gonna make these walls super weird if I wanted to put storage in there. I was just thinking a ring around the outside might tidy it up, and if we put glass on all the exterior walls with like those nice corners, that might tidy it up and make the whole thing just look a little bit better. But I don't know how like the inside's gonna look, you know? Because these are all gonna be open. I mean, I guess we could put glass on all of them. And kind of block them off too. Uh, two iron, one titanium. Oh my gosh, you know how much iron that's gonna to take to do that? <laughs> that's gonna take so much iron to make that happen. But then we could row it. We could always run around the outside. And then what I was thinking about doing actually too is on each one of these wings here. Let me go back up here so we can show this a little bit better. We could always put a biodome here, there, there, or even just one here, 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 and then on tops of these two. That would also give it a more of a grand structure kind of thing too. It's also very singular level though, where we could build up. My problem is I don't like using ladders. <laughs> I, prefer, I prefer just running around and grabbing this stuff. We're just going up a level. All right, well, let's do this to start with. Um, let's start with putting an additional hallway up here in an upper level right there. Because we were going to do that anyways, and we were going to hook up the... Um, the... Uh, the biodomes up top. So let's do that and let's see how that looks. So we're going to have our two doors here. Um, I need a cobalt for a ladder. And then let's go ahead and throw a room right above here. Kind of get this figured out a little bit. Okay, so there's those. Now, interior ladder. We could put that... I want to put it over out of the way a little bit, you know? So probably just like that, like kind of where it was. No, darn it. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do that. <laughs> okay, so we're in here. So this is going to be our upper level. So I want to run this hallway all the way across. You know, I think that I think that second level of biodomes, I think it's going to make it look a little bit bigger and a little bit better. Let's wait and let's not do the ring on the outside yet. Let's see how this looks with this. So uh, basically, I just need a bunch of iron and titanium to make all these rooms. <laughs> Okay, so there's our central room. Um, now, I didn't bring it all the way to the edge because I think I want to leave it like that. You know, I, th I don't think I want the top part to go all the way to the edge because I think it's going to make it give it a little bit more of a better design because if I have it go all the way, all the way to the edge, it's going to look extra cuboid, whereas this might make it not look so cuboid. Uh, we also need to get this room slid over so it's in the right spot as well. And then, like I said, I'm thinking we're going to put our biodome. How do I already have all that stuff on me? I actually have the stuff for the biodome tier two on me already. Holy moly. Okay, so if I wanted to put this here. Why won't you link? Is it because of the... Oh. Will it link here? Okay, it will link here. All right, so that looks good. Oh, the screen's on the wrong side, though. Oh, there's a screen on both sides. Okay. That looks pretty good. Is it hanging over on this side at all? It is a little bit, but if I bring it over one this way, it's going to be hanging over on this side. Uh, I prefer it to be hanging over on the inside, though, to be honest. Yeah, I think I prefer it to be hanging over that side, so this side looks like it's kind of, like, finished. Okay. So I like that. So I want to put tier two domes there, 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 and there. And then the tier one 
is going to go... Oh, no. It's not going to be able to be centered. Oh, that's right. Because this is a one block. This is a one one cuboid room center because it's one, two, th it's a three by three. And I think this is also a three by three. Hmm. Okay, so I think I figured out my issue here. Um, it is a... Our entire place is 15, or is it 14 across? And that's, a, I think it's 14 across and that's a three by three. So actually, if I move this back over here by this one, I could put this three by three and this three by three right next to each other. So that'd be uh, six total. And I could do three by three on this side, three by three on this side. That'd be another six over here. So that'd give us 12 total used blocks. And then 13 and 14 would essentially be these two center ones. So these two would not be covered. So basically they would go to there and to there, I think. But I do have to make that go all the way to the end of, oh, that's going to go all the way to the end of here. So no, I don't have enough room for that because that would, that's, that's including, yeah, no, that would work. I think that would work. Yeah. I think if I throw one there and then I, I'll throw the tier one right next to this one because it'll be closest to the ladder and then we'll do tier two, tier twos. Okay. I think that'll work. All right, so let's see how this is gonna look. So, uh, biodome. Right there. And then, like I said, we should be able to skip these two and then we should be able to throw another one, another tier two on this edge and then another tier two right here. And then that should co go right here. And then these two should be clean and clear. Okay. And then, what well, you know what we might actually do? since we did that is we might actually throw two of those two by two rooms right here and then have that as like a, I don't know, like a bio storage or something like that. That might work out. Yeah, I think that would work out pretty good. Okay, so other biodome tier two. Right there. Yes, okay, good. Whew, everything's coming together slowly. <laughs> it's coming together. All right, so, I mean, it's going to look different because, I mean, obviously, we're not going to put two biodome tier ones. There's really no reason for that. I just need this one strictly for that. Um, well, actually, I don't, do I? Because there's nothing we do in that room. That was just to unlock stuff and see how things are going. Oh, yeah, we'll keep one because we're still not done with it yet. Wait, actually, are we done with it? I think we are done with this room. I don't know. We'll have to see. Because if we're done with that room, then we'll throw uh, tier twos up here instead. Um, okay, so that's looking good. We need to get this moved over, which uh, I need to do that. And then I want to go ahead and throw foundations basically around this like horseshoe area right here. And then I also want to throw it's getting dark, isn't it? Yep. And then I also want to uh, I want to go ahead and put a door in here and then throw a bunch of foundations on this side. And this is where we're going to throw all of the external stuff like these guys and um, the heaters because we have no heaters going right now. <laughs> so like I'm sure terraformation is super slow because we've gotten rid of a lot of stuff uh, but yeah we need to throw these into there and then we need to do i need to move that storage i'm gonna move that storage though between episodes because like it's super not fun watching me just move stuff back and forth okay and then yeah see it's getting dark so it's a little dark in here uh, we do need to connect up our dock from over here this whole area right here this needs to be brought over to this area brought out so we'll probably do a double wide dock on that and then get those figured out but i gotta say i feel i like i like where this base is going this is the new mega base because we need mega base things wait till it's light out and we'll take another look at it all right so i just i couldn't leave you hanging i couldn't leave you hanging we had i went and got all my storage moved and I put it into my new room. This is going to be where we're actually going to have our, our storage and main stuff at. So this is kind of how we have it laid out. As you can see, plenty of room for storage. So we're going to have it on both sides going around. Probably going to have a door going out here and here to the dock thing. Um, and depending on, yeah, yeah, we'll probably have that. I was, I was thinking it might be nice if we don't have these two on the ends. Uh, we'll finish these lockers on this side. We might make these all glass. So we could overlook the lake area maybe a little bit. Um, but that depends on how much storage I need. Because, I mean, that's, what, four lockers? We could probably do without. 
We could probably do without those four lockers. Um, so we might end up doing glass on that so you can actually like see out, you know, give it a little bit more of a big feel. So this room is finally done. So we can go ahead and get rid of that room. We can get rid of this room. And then we can go ahead and put that room where it's supposed to be. Uh, grab this guy. And place it right in there. Wonderful, wonderful. What is this? Let's grab that tree bark. So now... Okay, perfect. See, that's going to look so much better. Let's go ahead and let's take a peek at her, shall we? Let's see how the base is looking. Oh, see, that looks so much better. I like that. That looks nice. That looks fancy. Um, I think this top hallway right here is definitely going to have to be all windows. Because I think that'll make it look nicer. Um, and then depending on these walls right here, like I said, maybe we'll do windows or maybe we'll do a whole nother frame around of rooms. Actually, can't go all the way around because that side over there, we're not going to be able to have rooms on it. So uh, maybe if anything, it'll, you know what? I don't know. If Being that we can't do that, I don't really want to do it at all because that side's not going to be right. So, I mean, we'd have to do the front and the back. I don't know. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, but I, I got to say, this, the structure of our new base is done. Um... With the exception of two rooms right here, actually. Because I think these two rooms right here are going to be deep storage. I think that's where we're going to be putting excess uh, resources and stuff. Actually, you know what? We should just build those two rooms right now and be done with it. Let's do it. I am seriously out of titanium. All of my storages are gone. Out of titanium. <laughs> Which is so funny because titanium is one of those resources I had so much of. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to grab this titanium right here. We're going to put our other two rooms up here. Um, and then I think I'm going to need to get some drills going for our... Uh... Can we can we go right here, please? Is that linked? Okay. Uh, we're going to get some other drills going so we can replenish our resources because, oh my gosh. This, this mega... This new base build definitely hit the resources uh pretty pretty hard uh, okay so now yeah we'll throw um we'll probably throw more storage in here honestly we'll probably have a, a whole bunch of storage running along the walls here that'll be deep storage excess you know stuff like that so hopefully that'll help with that but uh yeah there you go there you have it she's done i think the structure of the base is done leave a comment let me know what you think also, make sure to hit that link in the uh, description down below. Huge shout out to our sponsor, Factor, for, uh, you know, sponsor this video. It does help out what I do. Um, click on it. Just see if it's something you're uh, you're interested in. And there's actually, like, a, a live tracker, too, down there. So, it's pretty cool. But there she is. There's our new base. It's going to look better. It's going to look better once we, like I said, once we start putting some final touches on stuff. Um, we got to get all of our machines back up and running. So, like, that's going to be priority. Priority number one is to get, like, you know, our heat generators back up and run running um, and things like that. So, those will be f uh, the following episodes. We'll probably focus, you know, uh, one episode on redoing the heat and doing the nuclear. We'll focus another episode on... Um, Maybe windows and things like that, making it look nicer, uh, getting our resources up again, getting all of our computer screens laid out, getting all of our food farming stuff going, getting everything done. Oh, we've got so much to do. So hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do like, subscribe, all the fun things. And again, thank you so much for coming out. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time.